Welcome, this is Zangler, your Tesla Semi Advocate, and this video was shot on February 25th in the afternoon. So we have the afternoon lighting. So as I drive up, I always try to look and see what I notice. The first thing I noticed was they were working on the flag, and there are downspouts located on the north and south end of the building. You can kind of see them there, but they're a little shaded, and those were all done in the last week. Anyway, um, that is to direct the water off of the roof and into the um, drainage that leads off away from the plant or from the factory. So we'll take a look at the, um, they're working on the flag, the high winds up to 48 miles per hour, I think in the last few days are, um, are brutal on a flag. So that flag was frayed and I believe that what they're doing is they're replacing the flag with a new one. And we get a good look at that. In your head, you can say the Pledge of Allegiance. And um, then we'll move on to some more uh, interesting stuff. I actually go on a little uh, walkabout following a breadcrumb, and you'll see what I mean here in a minute. Lots of miscellaneous trenching work being done. That work right there, this is the um, northwest, northwest corner of the building for orientation, as you can tell by the shadows as the sun gets, um, as the sun travels a, a, along the winter, um, its winter path, the northern uh, side of the building is pretty much in shade all day. And at this point in time, the it's late in the afternoon, so the sun is illuminating the western portion. This is an interesting view. What is going on with that piece of concrete cut with a triangle cut out of it? It doesn't look like, anyway, interesting. You, you see all sorts of random, interesting things on these flights that sometimes I speculate about. Just in the corner, you saw there is some dark, reverse L-shaped um, thing on the roof. And I'm not sure if they've removed the insulation to reveal that dark path, and we'll see it, we'll see it here again in a minute. You may have noticed it in the earlier video. But um, now what we're gonna do is we take a, we're gonna take our circumnavigation around the plant and um, this is now the south, I'm sorry, this is the northeast corner of the building. And you see all those downspouts, you get, you get a good look at those downspouts now. That's the, um, south, that's the south end of the building, and as, since it's tilted, as you can see, the, the um, slope of the roof slopes along the eastern and western walls down to the north and to the south. So on the north and south, they have drainage to um, direct that water off of the roof. And there you can see those downspouts on the um, northern side, the northern uh, perimeter of the building. One of these days, we're going to stop and count how many loading bays are actually on this, in this factory. I count one, two, skip a few, about 80. No, I don't know. I'm kidding. So that dark stripe above, above that appears to be empty space, as opposed to um, the door being black. I don't understand, and there, there it goes all the way, but at some point in time you can see light through that empty space above there. It kind of doesn't make sense to me, but maybe you know better. In a minute, this giant door, we're going to try to take a peek inside of it, but we don't get to see, we don't see much. It's dark in there. And uh, as I've mentioned before, I'm pretty sure that's where they are keeping the alien bodies that are helping build this factory in such quick in such a quick manner. You can't see much in there. 
So, um, and so we still can't see that stripe from this angle, but there you go. You see that long line going from left to right, and then it turns where that person is walking and goes along the um, western, it heads south along the western edge. I'm not quite sure what's going on there. We'll hopefully figure that out and see if it continues. Now we're going to take that walkabout. I'm going to go directly from here along the northern uh, perimeter of the building straight over to where that high voltage wire was, was being buried. This is a fascinating little project because I know they get they get electricity from Milan Avenue, which is behind us. So it doesn't make sense that this would be for electricity from a um, from the grid. So my best guess is that this is going to lead to a um, mega pack farm. There's that high voltage wire that people have pointed out that it's it's the kind of high voltage wire that you can just bury without conduit. But anyway, here we go. We're gonna we're gonna go from this this heads south towards Legacy Gig in Nevada, which will come into view here in a minute. You see, they've dug this trench, heading from north to south, and then it goes around the mountain. Here, oh, look at there. There's a nice shot of a of a um, Tesla semi doing work. It goes around, the, it, it, it jogs around this corner heading east, so I decided to follow it. And then it turns again and heads um, south again and uh, terminates right here. Now, we're going to keep an eye on this. Uh, that looks like it could be a decent location for a Megapack farm. It'd be fascinating to see what happens. Here's a nice look around. Um, apologize for the quick speed, but uh, um, I want to preserve my battery and get back over here to where the, all the action is, which is at the um, stamping building and stamping pit. scanning for any Tesla semi activity. That second building above the blue interior, what will be eventually an interior wall is a Tesla semi um, pilot line location at 550 Milan. So here is the smaller of the two stamping pits. And what you'll notice is, at least, especially from the other angle, they've started to fill in backfill dirt. You can see there that wall, um, this, that, that pit has, has they've begun to backfill it. it. Looks to me like they still have work on the left there on the south. And then here are all of these um, stamping, I mean, uh, footings. That right there looks like another small stamping pit. The, one, the thing that just uh, we, we just lost on a, out of our field of view to the right. This is fascinating. The, the top wall has been poured of, of uh, concrete, and I expect that this is what all of these will kind of look like. And there's a hole there to allow the um, spoils of the stamping process to um, fall down, and also probably, perhaps, I'm no expert, but for the... Um, stamping dies to be able to exchange change stamping dies you can see it's a, a little breezy today nothing compared to what it's been like the last few days there another complicated stamping pit this is where on the top they've filled in and you can see they're going to do the same thing they did up above which is to pour a top um, floor and uh, over that and here's a bunch of complicated um, work on the footings and the rebar cages. I do believe this is, as I've mentioned before, I don't believe they're going to be using the same 
uh, process uh, that the rest of the building has been built with, with the columns, with the steel columns and beams using the BZI Mesmaster. My speculation is that this will, these will be concrete columns. And I believe we've got some precedent at Giga Texas for the stamping building having concrete columns as opposed to metal columns to handle the massive stamping vibration. There again, that's that new, that's an all new um, stamping pit for yet another stamping machine. Be interesting to see just exactly how many stamping machines and they end up putting in here. There's the where the, there's where you can see the first the very first evidence of them backfilling, um, and and you can see a compactor there work either working or parked, but compacting that um, soil as they as they replace it. Just just fascinating complicated work being done in the stamping pit. All of this work with those rocks and that drainage took months before the um, actually building construction started. Several, several months of flying out here and uh, seeing them putting in underground uh, drainage pipes and working on um, stormwater management and providing utilities Good look at the skylights, and then we're going to fly over and get a really good light look at those um, dark lines that were added right there coming into view. I'm going to look down, and then it looks like, I mean, I would swear those are like thin film solar, but I doubt it. We get a little glimpse of it, and are they removing material or adding material? We're getting to the end of the flight. We're looking down along the northern perimeter where a bunch of stormwater management work is. And the nice thing is you can see this wash. And then this is Milan Avenue. And right along that bottom edge of Milan is where they brought in um, infrastructure over like a year and a half, two years ago. Now we're going to see the uh, drone support vehicle and the Tesla Semi Advocate. This is on the automated return to home, by the way, because battery is low. Hope you enjoyed today's video and um, we'll, we'll fly again soon. If you have any comments or questions, look forward to, um, or, or observations from those of you that know much more about construction than I, be happy to, to entertain that. Thanks again.